Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, my March Fright Crate finally came, so we're gonna open that up. I have not um, cut the tape yet, so we're gonna do that. My kitten is here and there's a fly. So if there's any disturbances in this video, my dogs are in the room, so it's gonna be a little chaotic, but let's read the quote. I like biting off more than I can chew and then figuring it all out, Jordan Peele. I've enjoyed all of his movies. Um, so yeah, let's get into marches. Um, this is the $30 box. They do do a $20 box. The $20 box is two to three items. The $30 box is five to six. I've never gotten the $20 box. I've only ever gotten 30. Um, I know the big difference is you don't get the resin figure. So if you're somebody that likes the figures in the box, um, definitely get the $30. One. And this is not a recurring subscription, so you have to physically go in on the first. Um, it drops at midnight Eastern time, which is usually 9 or 10 for me because I'm in Arizona. So I set an alarm, um, especially now because I missed out on the anniversary box, which is their October box. There's usually extra figures in that one. That one sells the quickest. Um, the next one would probably be November, which is their Christmas box, and you get a snow globe in that one. So, I always set a reminder, um, if it was recurring, I would probably just sign up and have it recur. He tried doing that, I think, at one point, and it wasn't working, so you do have to physically go in on the first. Some boxes sell out faster than others, depending on what the themes. Um, I do recommend following them on Instagram. He always has spoilers for what the themes are going to be. So if you are interested in the box that month, then yeah. So let's, we cut the tape. Let's open her up again. Sometimes I peek. This month I did not because it literally came today. And I worked and came home and cleaned if anybody cares. My husband bought me a Roomba. I came yesterday, so I was trying to figure out the vacuum. But let me find the card. I'm breaking stuff. Not really, but throwing stuff around. I was amazed that nothing gets broken because I swear the stuff in here is not packaged real well. But so the themes are Hellraiser, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warrior, Pumpkin Head, Dark Man. And then Creature from the Black Lagoon. There's always there's always four themes and a mystery theme, which I don't think you get, obviously, if you get the smaller box. But I think the Creature from the Black Lagoon was the mystery theme. Okay, so let's pull out the shirt. Um, I used to get men's large. And then I went and started getting um, mediums. But now that I'm pregnant, I went back to larges. So this is a men's large. Um, I got a woman's tee once and they're the fitted tees and with this much graphic I don't like them to be fitted um, and it's the leprechaun shirt so I do wear it on St. Patrick's Day and suck it up but it's definitely a shirt that I wish I had in a men's so I don't do the women's tees but if you're somebody that likes them a little tighter I would just recommend getting like a men's small just because I but like I said, with this much graphic, I don't want them to be super fitted, but that's just my personal preference. But this is a men's large. I like that this is the shirt. Um, Dream Warriors is one of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street films. Like probably out of all of them, number three is probably my favorite. I don't know. I just like that Nancy comes back and then you have the kids in the institution. So it's definitely one that I've watched I've probably seen that one in the first one the most out of all of, and I've, I have seen them all, but so I like that that's the shirt. Um, the bust I think is this one and it's the Hellraiser item. And I, I don't like that. And it's probably a little bit easier. They used to print the themes for the next month on the card and they don't anymore. Maybe because people like me film and it, puts out the spoilers earlier. I'm kind of bummed that this is not Pinhead. This is just one of the Cenobites. It's the one that's like Chatter, I think is what his name came to be called later on. And I do like the Hellraiser movies. I've seen them all. Well, no, I take that back. The two, the two newest ones, or at least Hellraiser Judgment, the newest one where, um, 
oh, I forget the actor's name that played Pinhead for years, isn't playing Pinhead. I haven't seen all that when I started watching it and never finished it. I think they're coming out with another one, so I haven't seen that one. But other than that, I have seen them all. So I'm kind of bummed that it's not Pinhead. Although I do like the way this looks. Sometimes the resin figures are a little cartoony. So I think, I don't think Pinhead would have come out as well as him. So I don't mind that it's a Cenobite, but I wish it would have been Pinhead because I, I am a fan of the Hellraiser series. Not everybody is. They are very gory, but I've always kind of liked them. I think because it's really fake gore, it doesn't bother me. Never bothered me. Um, the next thing is another resin item, but it's a magnet, and I do like the magnets. My daughter always gets a kick out of um, looking at she notices when there's new magnets on the fridge so this is pumpkin head and this one's actually really really good too this is a hefty magnet and then I didn't show the back of him they used to make them like three dimensional all the way around and they've started making them flat on the back I wonder if that's like a space saver thing probably but so there's the back you can see where the glue kind of shifted a little bit but very, very hefty. So we got a pumpkin head. And I do like the pumpkin head movies also. Um, and then we have The Pin is probably one of my least favorite movies. My dad used to have these on VHS. I forget if there's two or three. It's from Dark Man. I don't know. They're just very sad, like crow-esque. You know, you got the burn victim that seeks revenge I, don't, I never I've seen them and I watched them very young like I said my dad had them on VHS um but I will put this on my vest so we have the dark man pin and then the last item I will have to squeeze on my vest because it's getting full but the back I think I could probably squeeze this on so we have the creature from the Black Lagoon and says swim. I like the colors on this, so I will have to squeeze. This is an iron-on patch. Um, last time I tried to do the iron-on ones because it's like, my vest is like that fake denim. It's not like real denim, so some of the iron-on doesn't like to adhere, but they do sell, it's like a patch glue. You use it in like a hot glue gun, so I might have to get some more of that and just glue him on but I like him a lot. I could be not lazy and actually just stitch him on too. You can do a couple attacks, but I'll probably try and iron him on first. But yeah, there's that. So we got the patch, the pin, um, the pumpkin head magnet. I feel like I rambled a lot in this video, so I apologize. Um, Cenobite. And the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warrior shirt. It's not a bad box. Um, I did buy the one for April. Um, yeah, I did buy April's. I couldn't tell you what the themes are. don't remember. Which is why I used to like that he used to print um, the themes on the bottom of the car. But like I said, I think because people are... More people are filming and it puts the spoilers out early. I don't know if that's why or if when the cards are printed, he's doing it earlier and he just doesn't know what the themes are going to be when these cards are printed. That could be too. But um, I will leave the link for Fright Crate down below. I don't know if the boxes are still available. Sometimes they're available till the second or third week. Um, it just depends on the theme. His boxes are becoming more popular. Um, I've been getting Fright Crate for two years because I started getting it when I moved in with Mike at his parents' house. So it's probably been, we've been in this house almost three. So it's been three years. Um, so his subscription has gotten more popular over the years. So it definitely sells out faster, but I will leave the link down below. And like I said, follow him on Instagram. I set a reminder on my phone and I know to go on at like nine or 10. I always look like depending on what time of year it is what the um, time difference is. And yeah, I just do that. Um, I, the only box that I missed out on was the anniversary box because I my paycheck hadn't hit yet. And by the time my paycheck hit and I remembered like it was literally six hours, the box was already gone. And I'm talking like I went on at 6 a.m. So 
yeah, it sold out quick, but generally I go on right away. So that was my fault. But yeah, that was everything that I got in this bright crate. That was really loud. Um, let me know what you guys thought. This is one of my favorite and like non makeup horror subscriptions. I was getting Loot Fright for a while. The boxes were just okay. And it's more expensive than this one. Um, I like this one better. Just again, I was accumulating too much stuff. So I ended up canceling it. They were doing better with the shipping. Like the first two boxes like just showed up randomly, but they were doing better with their shipping. So if you do like horror subscriptions, Loot, Fr Loot Fright's not a bad one either. But it was just too much stuff. I just didn't need two shirts every month and everything else. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Hopefully everyone is still staying, staying safe. And hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.